Hello, sweet team. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sweet Ajele. I am super duper excited to be with you all today, as you all can hear from my voice, because I cannot wait to bring you all all these powders that you need to flavor up your food. Whether you're vegetarian or not, I have you covered yes these are the bases that you need to make your own homemade seasoning and once you get this you are set you can add whatever you want to it and you will have your own seasoning i'm starting off by cleaning my mushrooms they're quite dirty so i'm using a sponge to give it a real good bath <laughs> and then we're going to move on to cutting it and dehydrating it now if you don't have a dehydrator do not worry just set your oven to its lowest setting and it'll dry these babies up perfectly my dehydrator only goes to 130 degrees fahrenheit and that is what i'll be using so if your oven can go to 130 that's fine otherwise use the lowest setting next we're going to go ahead and cut the mushrooms into very thin slices and i get rid of the bottom because it's a bit dirty in my opinion you don't have to do that i choose to also if you want your powder to be white then you want to scrape the darker part of the mushroom out before slicing it We'll then transfer it into our dehydrator. Once it's filled up, we're going to cover it up, turn it on and leave it alone to do its thing until it is nice and dry. Absolutely crunchy. <laughs> We're now moving on to our chicken and I'm using chicken breast because it has less fat and I'll season it with some salt, chicken seasoning and one spice blend cube. Cover it up and bring it to a boil. Always use a wide pot when cooking soft chicken because it helps prevent it from tearing apart. Now be sure to season this to your taste, especially with the salt, because once dehydrated, it'll serve as a preservative. Our chicken have been cooking now for about 10 minutes and look at all the juices that it released. It's done now, but I want to add some of my green marinade to bring some freshness into the chicken and I'll give it just about five minutes and it should be done. I'm checking on the chicken and it is completely done. So I'm going to get it out and lay it on a rack so that it will cool completely. Then we'll go ahead and cut it up. If you try cutting it now, it'll be too soft and it'll also be too hot for you to handle. All right, so just allow it to sit on the rack for about 10 to 15 minutes to cool completely. All right, my sweets, my chicken have been resting for about 15 minutes now and it is nice and cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and slice it into little thin strips. Now remember, the thinner it is, the quicker the dehydration process will be. So bear that in mind. We will then arrange it onto our baking tray and transfer it into the oven. Now, because I want my powder to brown a bit, I'll bake it for 15 minutes on both sides at 
275 degrees Fahrenheit. I use a lower temperature because the oven is quite small and you don't want to use a high temperature because it'll burn it quickly and it is brown now so I'll lower the temperature to that 200 degrees and allow it to begin dehydrating now I do not want any more color to this this is just right let's move on to our beef I'm going to go ahead and add in one spice blend cube to that I'll add some beef seasoning salt to taste cover it up and bring it to a boil once it boils, I'm going to give it a good stir and allow it to continue cooking in its own juices until this is done. It smells so, so good in here right now. And we are back. Our beef is nice and ready. So like the chicken, I'll get it out and lay it on my rack to cool completely. Our beef have cooled down completely. Do you see how nice and tender it is? So I'm just going to slice it up the same way we did the chicken and we will dehydrate it in a 200 degrees Fahrenheit oven now i'm not going to bake this before dehydrating because it already have a beautiful dark color so baking it for 15 or so minutes before dehydrating it is not needed it's time <laughs> yeah so that was my daughter she's keeping an eye on the time for me because I finished with my first job which is at the doctor's office and I'm heading to my second job which is at the tennis club and I want to do this quickly before I leave and my son will be keeping an eye on this while I'm at work so y'all see the struggle is real <laughs> mama still have to go to work our chicken is nicely done do you see how dry it looks you can store it just like this and blend it whenever you need it but i'm going to blend mine once everything is done okay yes very super crunchy as you saw so it is now time for me to arrange the beef and transfer it into the oven and like i said set it on 200 degrees and i'm taking off to work and i'll see you all when this is also done okay hey y'all it's another day and our beef is so nice and dry do y'all hear the crunchiness yes our mushrooms are also well dehydrated all right this was done in about 12 hours but i left it sitting there until everything else was done so that I'll be blending everything at the same time. Now, one of the sweet team members wanted to know, does the dehydrator consume a lot of energy? To me, it doesn't because I have not noticed any increase in my electricity bill, but I don't know the brand that you have and how it works. So I love mine and I picked it up from all these supermarkets. I have a similar one on my Amazon store, but I don't know if it will work as well as mine. I've had this for about five years and I absolutely 
love it so i'm just going to go ahead and blend this and because they're big it fills up the blender quickly but once you blend it it becomes very small so i'll be adding and blending adding and blending until everything is nicely blended and the mushrooms are so light and airy that it blends beautifully so you don't even have to sift it when you're done it's just perfect so to all my vegetarians in the house, I just sorted you out. Whenever you're following any of my recipes, instead of shrimp powder, you got your mushroom powder. So do not be left out. And trust me, it tastes delicious. Moving on, it's time to blend our chicken. <laughs> and there you have it our chicken powder is also ready now you don't have to sift this but i choose to do that because at times it has little bits that the blender was not able to blend and trust me this is a very good blender but because the space in there is so big at times it's unable to blend those little tiny ones so after sifting i'll show you exactly what i mean yep and this is it but make no mistake i'm not gonna get rid of this i'm going to put it in my coffee grinder and that will grind this much better okay so yeah finally it is time to blend our beef and this stuff is so delicious you can actually make this and snack on it because i was snacking on this and i was like Ajilipa, because you have a recipe to film this is a great idea for people that have kids that will not eat meat trust and believe me when i tell you they will eat this because once dehydrated it is so nice and crunchy the kids will love it you would even love it okay so even if you don't plan on making these powders you can make this and have it as a snack or as a substitute for protein for those uh, babies that do not like to have their protein when they are enjoying their meals so you see, this is all that there is to it. It wasn't a lot, so I just snack on it. <laughs> yes, I, I couldn't put it together. But the chicken, on the other hand, this is all that I got a lot of that. So I'm going to put it in my coffee grinder and grind it. And because this is a smaller space, the blade is able to grind even the finer ones completely and that's it our powders are ready this is all the base that you need to make your own homemade vegetable seasoning chicken seasoning and beef seasoning you can do this and all you have to do is try now you can take all the air out of it like this and store it in your freezer which is my preferred storage area but for the sake of this recipe i've been keeping some in my cabinet for the past seven months which i've now transferred into this little pantry that my brother built for me with the help of my hubby dr ajiti thing you because i needed that space and as you can see i have some carrots and celery powder to done so i am ready for my next batch of seasoning as for the things that i keep in my freezer for instance the shrimp powder i have some that have been in my freezer for over two years and it is still good the taste have not changed so i love storing my powdered stuff in my freezer like my herring powder my shrimp powder chicken all these powders i prefer to store them in my freezer for a longer shelf life so you can do that as well thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give your girl a thumbs up thank you share and subscribe if you have not done that yet if you're a new subscriber 
welcome to my channel this is sweet ajele thank you so much for subscribing and to the sweet team i love you all so so much until i see you in my next video stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of god and family is life's greatest blessing and guys bye y'all